Hey guys, this is my. Oh, my oh, this is my one day. One day fight fighting with Seth. How many times are you gonna hit me? One more. This video is sponsored by Valencia. So I just got this in the mail last week and I've been sitting on this chair for maybe a few days now. I gotta tell you guys, this is amazing. I'm loving the chair so far. Not only is it finished by an Italian top grain leather, the sitting itself is, feels super comfortable. And check out the design of this chair. The finished product looks amazing. So there are three main functions in the chair. The first button adjusts the recline level. The second one adjusts the lumbar positions. And the third one adjusts the head tilt positions. So with this chair, you get three cup holders, one on each side of a chair and one in the middle. Now besides that, you also get three compartments for storage. So same thing, one on each side, and then you get one in the middle right here. And this is actually pretty deep. You get a lot of space for storage right here. So one of the coolest features that I really like is the LED lights. So on the home button, when I press it twice, the light comes on. And you can also set this color to your personal preference. Now my favorite color is red, so I get to choose a color that I like, and once you set it, it stays like that until you, you decide to switch. So this is like the cup holder color. It also has the LED light comes on the bottom of a chair. After trying out so many different recliners in the past, I have to tell you guys, this is by far the most comfortable chair that I have ever set on. If you're interested in this chair, please don't hesitate, head on over to the website and check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And now it's time to get back to fighting with Sensei Seth. Today we are at 8711 doing some pretty amazing stunt training. If you haven't heard of 8711, they have directed and trained some of the best actors for movies, including Keanu Reeves. And this is Jeremy. Not only is he an awesome martial artist, he's also the stuntman, fight slash stunt coordinator, and the director. Alongside, we have Kyla and Sean to help us out today. The first thing we have to learn is how to fall properly. Falling is such an art in itself. Not only you have to know how and where to land, you may even have to add some spin to it. And if you want to see more awesome stunt training content that we did together, be sure to check out Sensei Seth's video. Shoulder roll. Did you do right side or left side? I did left shoulder roll. He's been doing the opposite. Yeah, so I would go right if I were you. This side, like that, and. Now you have to connect them smooth like Aikido. Connect them. Yeah, just do Aikido, bro. Nice. That's hard. <laughs> that was good. Now the second thing we have to learn is the reaction. You see, Two, one, doing go. stunts is not only about falling from the buildings, nice. but you also have to sell the reaction while fighting back. Here Jeremy is taking us through some basic fighting training sequences, which helps us to get used to the movement during the film. I'm just gonna take my two fingers. I'm super relaxed. I don't want my neck to be stiff and I don't wanna fight my hand. I'm just gonna go push my hand, yeah. So a lot of people, they rattle their brains if they go too much, right? Yeah. So you want one bounce and then bring structure back to your neck. When, when I take my hit, I'll let my shoulder rotate with me, mm. right? Boom, boom, right? So just with a relaxed, relaxed body, we're gonna push the head, bang. And we're just gonna let our shoulders turn. You'll see it'll put a lot less stress on your neck. <laughs> That's what I get paid to do. <laughs> this is awesome. Yes, and one last thing is, you know, when you get hit, what's the first thing your body tries to do? Find balance, right? So when we're selling it, if you're selling a big knockout, obviously you can take it and you just fall right there or you can do a big fancy wreck like we were just doing. Yeah. Um, but what I'll do just so I can bounce back into the fight, I can sell a good reaction by using my legs as I hit I'll turn and I'll drop my body because naturally I'm actually finding my balance yeah. but I'm acting like I'm looking for my balance if uh, that makes sense mm. right because when your body gets shut down boom you gotta catch yourself okay. when you're getting hit and you're getting knocked out you're not thinking about catching yourself your right. body naturally will try and catch itself sure. or it'll just catch the side of the floor <laughs> yeah, right so what I'll do is I'll take it and once I'm falling I'll once I see the ground I'll kind of base out a little bit gotcha if I need to continue okay so sometimes you get people who don't sell it enough so they go 
and they're back in the fight. Gotcha. And then you're like, ah, that, that punch didn't feel like it had any weight because mm. you're already, if we do a picture hit like this, you're already taking away the, the weight of the impact. Because okay. on impact, if we hit, boom, you would see the friction of me punching through the face. But if we're doing a picture hit, right? So you see how it can look flat. Sure. Now if she dropped her legs, like her body's actually reacting. Bam! Like now it sells a little bit more. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So okay. when we do our stunt fights, which probably irks a lot of martial art nerds, because it irks me a lot, because sometimes I can see it. What we'll do is we'll start the fight with a lead. So whatever style you're doing, you have your lead, because that's what we do in martial arts, right? Sure. What happens is, if the camera's on one side, and I'm always trying to shuffle back, and if I want to take reactions this way, that kind of closes off that part of my body. Sure. Right? It makes sense. Or if the camera's moving, I have to be able to play to both sides of the camera as, as fast as possible. Okay. So what we do is, we'll take whatever our lead is, and we'll turn it into a neutral stance. But what's weird is this, usually our back foot is bent, Right now, it'll be our front foot. Okay. So I'm here. Right? It's kind of like I'm mid hook, uh, lead hook. What, what's that way, if we're doing a fight team and she does, you know, cross, hook, cross, I can, cross, I can block on both sides. And I can naturally hear she throws a hook on the other side. She throws a hook on this side. She throws a hook on that side. I can just keep flowing between the two sides. Makes sense. Mm. Especially if we're doing a 360. So that keeps the body open the whole time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, if she's doing something where just do like cross over, cross over, cross over, over and over. If she's driving me back, pretend this is way more intricate than it is. Okay. If she's driving me back. If I keep this neutral stance, I can move a little easier because I know she's not going to hit me. Mm. Right? In a fight, I'd be leading here and I'd keep my distance that way sure. so that I could, you know, fire back. Sure. Choreography wise, especially with your camera in hand, if we did everything on this side, look at my face is kind of you can't see always it. closed, you can't see anything. So what we'll do is we'll open it up where I can see everything and now I can block to your side but play on the other side. Gotcha. With all the instructions and drill that we practiced, it is now time to create our fight sequence. Thankfully, this is not my first time doing fight scenes, especially now since we have Jeremy with us. He is such a great teacher, he created all our fight scenes on the spot and directed both of us throughout the whole entire scene. When you push, almost on this step, you're gonna, I want you to feed this leg back. Because then that puts you in the, the uh, correct position. And three, two, one, action! <laughs> and now, here's a final product. Ow! Dude, that was a nice! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know we hadn't started yet. That's my bad. Okay, okay, if that's what you want. Wait, for what? Stunt oh, double! No stunt doubles, this is... You ready? And... Ah! What? Kev? I'm sorry, I thought you had a sun double too. I don't, Kevin. I'm sorry. It's a, help me out. All right, let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. How's your neck? I don't know, I guess fine. I'm sorry. Was that fun? Yeah, that I was mean, great. it was a great Make believe great. martial arts is sometimes more fun than... That was harder than a lot of <laughs> not make believe martial arts. Harder than you thought. Way, way harder. Than way harder, me. way harder. Yeah. Definitely yeah. harder. But I think having a little bit of training definitely helps. I think you guys are promising it stuff, man. Like, if you guys keep training, we're hired. I'm gonna have to give you a oos of approval. Yes, thank oos. you, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your help today. I, of course. Both of us had a lot of fun today. I, I, awesome. I had a lot of fun. Kevin, right. thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Of course. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, oh boy! boy.
Vaughn, pause. Ready? Oh, hey guys, and don't forget to check out Oost Media. Jeremy has put out so much cool content over there on his YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check it out. The link will be in my description box below. Me. Me. <laughs> okay, cool.